My journey in photography was a little different than most people. My grandfather was everything to me. You know, he had never been in a newspaper, and he was, you know, kind of excited to be in the newspaper. So the newspaper comes, and it's a picture about two to three inches wide. And the only thing you can see is a black blob with two eyes. That image changed my life. My name is Johnny Crawford. I am the artist and um, director of the Vietnam Black Soldiers Portrait Project. Uh, the project is designed to give people some history about black soldiers that served in Vietnam. I went on to uh, Morehouse College in Atlanta, placed in the public relations department as a, a photographer. My first couple of pictures were no better than the young lady that photographed my grandfather. So I played around and got a little bit better. Uh, then by the time I graduated, my aunt uh, gave me a camera. I photographed the first black person who had a television show, first person who had a radio station, the first mayor, first police, uh, police chief, so on and so on. And then the next year, I was a photography assistant at the VA Medical Center. I saw guys come in talking to themselves. I saw guys coming in with parts of their face missing. And my job was to photograph guys before the operation, so they have before and after, and they would be sent to the doctors. So I saw all kinds of stuff, and I began to see the, the, the hard parts of war. Imagine, you're 18 years old. You gotta go to war. Now you gotta get on a bus and go to the back of the bus. You fly all the way to Vietnam, you get in the bush, and within 15 minutes, the guy you was talking to, his head's exploding, brains all over. Now, you got to stay there and figure out how to survive for a year. Fly back to your state, in the airport, where you gotta go through a certain place that says color only, then you go back to your hometown, you can't get a job, and you got to start over from that point. I said, that's why. I did the exhibit because these people served, led, died, and suffered. Not one of these men I photographed regretted going. Not one of them regretted serving. I found that simply amazing. One guy tell, tells me this story. He says, you know the reason I'm taking this picture? And I said, why? He says, because this is the only time that somebody has recognized me for serving in the United States. The Beltline gives an opportunity to see all different types of people, young, old, different races. I just think the exhibit offers a look at the lives of these people, people of different views, people of, that don't look like a patriot, and that is very important. So that's the reason why I wanted on the Beltline.